Government is now planning to limit visitors to the country's summer capital, the city of Pines, due to growing pollution problems and worsening traffic. Back in Manila, the DENR is also eyeing the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Shaila Francisco tells us more. With its cold weather and famed tourist spots, Baguio has been one of the go-to holiday destinations in the country. In fact, just last year, around 1.5 million tourists arrived in the Philippine summer capital, higher than 2016's 1.3 million. But the influx of tourists also brought traffic and pollution problems in Baguio. Because of this, the Environment Department is now assessing how they can limit tourists and vehicles in the area. We are going to make a study on this. What is the capacity of Baguio? You can see the Baguio over there. You don't have to count it. Establishments have also contributed to the growing environmental problems in Baguio. So far, eight establishments have been issued notices of violations for not having sewage treatment plants. Sa dami ng hotels kasi dito, talagang kulang yung ating ano yung sewage treatment plant ng Baguio City. Okay, kaya kailangan na dapat bawat hotel. Uh, meron sila, lalo kung malaking hotel yan, dapat meron silang STP. Meron yung mga nagdidirect na tinatapon sa tributaries ng Balili River. Others, meanwhile, constructed houses and establishments within the 3-meter easement zone near the river and in landslide-prone areas. The DNR is now identifying establishments without land titles that could be demolished. Ang aking magagawa muna ngayon ay identify, warning, bigyan na information ng mga tao that they are situated, they're living in a danger zone. So that the moment na magkaroon ng uh, mga bagyo na coming with the, with the rainfall na ganyan, unexpected, ay mag, uh, maglumikas. I was worried even we not necessarily not looking on the tourism side, but on the safety of the people of Baguio. Back in NCR, the DNR is also fast-tracking the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. This is after they discovered that the coliform level in 2016 is considered unsafe for swimming. With this, the DNR has given the Manila Bay Coordinating Committee two weeks to come up with a comprehensive plan to clean up the bay. Makita naman natin na mabawasan na naman yung coliform level. That is really may ano at the end of 2019. Ang gusto ko lang naman sa naman mabawasan yung ano. If we have to reduce it to a you know condition na pwede na magswim. The department, on the other hand, will start looking for areas to relocate around 300,000 families that may have contributed to the poor water quality in the area. Establishments that are found discharging wastewater directly to the sea will also face charges. Shaila Francisco, VR1 News.